Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we'll look at the Deluxe Mines plugin. This is a fantastic plugin which allows you to create various mines that you might see on a prison server where they reset every X amount of minutes and contain X percentage of good ores, bad ores and stone. And then when you're in the mine you can have various different effects on you. So overall it's really awesome and easy to set up and has a ton of cool features. If you do mine help that's going to show us all of the commands. Once we've done this we can do mine panel and that's going to bring up the main GUI where you can look at all the mines, you can create a new one or delete them all which I wouldn't recommend. So if we have a look at all mines you can see I've created a few and you can see when they were created as well. Left click to edit and right click to delete. So if I wanted to get rid of M1 for example, I could confirm that and it's now gone. So let's go ahead and create a brand new one. This is my new mine, it's quite small, but we are going to work with it. So first of all, if we do forward slash mine wand, that's gonna give us a wand similar to the world edit axe. It's a gold axe. And what we can do here is left click the top corner of our mine and then right click the bottom corner forming a cuboid. Now the cool thing about this is two gold blocks will form indicating the first so the primary and the secondary clicks that you made and then there are going to be green stars all the way around indicating the area so that's very handy in making sure you've selected it properly then if we do forward slash mine create and this one is going to be called diamond hit enter and that's going to create it and bring up a GUI there's quite a lot we can do in here so first of all let's go ahead and change the icon if you really want to change that you can pop a diamond pickaxe in the middle and then we are going to confirm that so now we've changed the icon you can delete it if for some reason you made a mistake you can enable and disable the mine status obviously while you're configuring it probably best to disable that and then the most important thing to do is obviously set the block so if we click this there are currently no blocks in here what we want to do first is create a new block and this one is going to be stone thankfully it fills your inventory with common stuff you might want if you haven't um, put them in your inventory already and then the first thing you want to do is set the percentage so left clicking will add a single percent and that might take a while to get to a high number or you can shift left click to get to a really high number so this is going to be 85 percent stone and then once you're happy with that just hit escape that will take you back and you can see we have stone there and 85 percent let's create one more and this is going to be diamond ore so pop that in there and then this percent should be 15 and if we keep clicking you can see it doesn't allow us to get any higher because this needs to add up to 100 obviously so hit escape we'll go back and then we have our two blocks adding up to 100 percent and then we can go back to our previous menu and look at the mine options now in here there's quite a few different things there is the mine permission so do you want to add a permission for certain players to be able to get in this mine yes or no do you want to visualize the borders toggle fly so do you want people to be flying while they are in the mine yes or no do you want the mine delay so how often will it reset so what we need to type in here is four minutes for example and that will set the new reset time and then the mine reset percentage so what percentage does it have to be for it to reset and we could do maybe 50 percent and then finally you could edit holograms if you want any of those so now if we open the GUI back up you can see it's currently disabled so we'll enable it and then go back and now you can see it is here with all the other mines and it has our nice icon that we set. Now the border will disappear now that we've finished editing and we've enabled it. If we were to do mine edit and then diamond again and then go to the top right mine effects, you can see you can give yourself maybe jump um, and click this a couple of times to increase the level. We could do increased damage, fast digging, really make it crazy and I think we'll just stick with those, go back. And there we go, we have jump boost, we've got strength, we've got haste. And that is what it looks like when you're inside the mine. Obviously, we've got fly as well. Now, another pretty useful feature is the redefine feature. So if I, we could grab our wand back. So what we're going to do actually is make it a little bit bigger. So this is now going to be our secondary. So it's going to extend one more block in either direction. And then what you could do is the mine redefine and then diamond and that's going to redefine the limits of the mine so then when it resets uh, it will fill in these areas as well 
So there's a couple more commands we can do. We can do the mine list command, and that brings up the GUI and lists them all. We can do the mine reload command if you've changed everything in the config file. You can do the mine reset, and then for example, test, and that will reset the test mine. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, and as you can see, there's a few files, but the only one you really want to edit is the settings.yml, and even this is pretty short. So if you have any issues with the mines resetting using async, you can go ahead and use four. So if you're gonna enable that, make sure you download it as well. And then do you want the mine to still reset even if it hasn't been touched and is still full? Yes or no. Then we have some command aliases and then the English language down here, which could be changed to Spanish if you wanted. And then the broadcast, so when a mine's resetting, it's enabled and the radius of 10 blocks around it. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. There's a link to Discord if you have any issues. Uh, the wiki link currently doesn't work, uh, but there's quite a lot of information here about it, the various commands and permissions, and then obviously support is on the Discord. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.